can you tell me what is going on in Philadelphia? Because I'm, you know, we were just about to come on the air mm-hmm. and word Woj was dropping bombs and Shams Charania, our guest from two days ago on The Athletic, is tweeting out reports that uh, Ben Simmons spoke to his team today, um, addressed the team today, which is about to take the court in front of the home fans for the first time since the playoff loss to the Hawks in the spring and or the summer, I guess, to be exact. And um, and we all know that Simmons was suspended for the first game of the year due to conduct detrimental to the team. He was kicked out of practice on Tuesday in advance of Wednesday's season opener in New Orleans. And he was kicked out of practice because, as Shams told us on this show and has reported, he was asked to take part in defensive drills, and twice he refused to do it, and he was right. he was kicked out of practice. Right. And so I just want to make sure I have all my ducks in a row before I give a couple of two cents on the subject matter. What, what, what's okay, the so, latest? Okay, so here's here, the latest. After we went off the air yesterday, Shams reported that Simmons is not mentally ready to play and was receiving treatment on his back yesterday due to the ramp-up process and mm-hmm. that he was going to miss Friday's home opener against the Nets because of that. Mm-hmm. Okay, So this morning, Shams tweeted that, according to his sources, Ben Simmons spoke to Doc Rivers, Joel Embiid, and the entire 76ers team and accepted that everyone needs to take responsibility, including himself, But Simmons did inform all of them that he's not mentally ready to play and needs time. Simmons did report to the shoot-around ahead of the game and was seen engaged around the team. He has expressed that he does want to play but isn't prepared mentally. Okay. And I saw Woj say that now he's going to be... He's going to be administered... Um some check from from the medical staff yeah so he plans to meet with medical professionals for an evaluation How, after telling the team back or his or his mental state uh seems like mental state after telling the team that he wasn't mentally ready to play to his expectations and needed time to step okay. away well i mean if he needs time to step away due to to his mental health then then go take it take it Then he should go take it, because our, if that is, if if he is struggling with anything between the temples, mm-hmm. that is no joke. Uh, I I I want to be as consistent as possible here. When it came to the case of Simone Biles mm-hmm. in the Olympics, it's what I said on the, the set of Tokyo Gold. It is what Susie said from this chair when I called in and had that conversation with with her and you guys. That's exactly what I was saying. Um, we we've we've talked about how serious this is. I mean, Lane Johnson just took a couple of weeks away from Philadelphia. It was the dubbed personal reasons. Then he came back and he said he needed a mental break. I could totally understand why why Ben Simmons needs a mental break. And we just saw Carl Nassib last week take a Right, he took a, a personal day. So if he is not ready to come to grips with the fact that he has a four-year contract with the Lake, with the Sixers, and they have no intention of trading him away right now for either whatever reason that they believe he can be with his talent, incredible talent, redeemed, or he needs to be redeemed with his incredible talent so they could ship him out for something that's worthwhile to the franchise. And he signed him a four-year generationally enriching contract. So they want to get some form of value in return and can't get that right now because of everything that appears to be a stance that Simmons has taken because he doesn't like the comments that the coach said and he doesn't like what Embiid does on the floor and he doesn't like his current situation even though he signed a a four-year generationally enriching contract we thought it was just basically like hey he he can't hack it with Sixers fans but if he can't just collect himself mentally in order to play basketball, that's a serious statement. 
Now, we've never encountered this sort of thing before where a player is going to be mentally evaluated by a team. Like, is that what is happening? Because, you know, now we're treading into totally different waters here with a player that needs to take a mental health break and the team is checking to see if that's really what it's going on here. Because one would definitely hope that this is not used as trying to get out of a contractual conundrum. So we'll just assume the best and wish him the best and say that this is something that he desperately needs to do. And I think that this is, if this will help take the pressure off of him and he can collect himself however long it takes and the team doesn't have the distraction around of what appeared to be a, a contractual hold in, if this is more of a, I need a mental break, let him take it. Yeah. And hopefully he comes back and plays basketball for the Philadelphia 76ers for as long as this needs to happen for him to either redeem himself career-wise, get better mentally, and then maybe get shipped out of town so he's a happier guy and the Sixers are a better franchise for him. But just to your point, Rich, and looking at the other side of this, I, I hope it's not a situation where, look, he's been fined over $2 million already. I hope it's not a situation where he's using this as kind of an excuse well, to not get fined again, anymore. I, I I'm, I'm just wanted to just touch on that and not linger on it yeah. because that is a pretty damnable Absolutely. accusation that we never ascribe to anyone else that has said, I've got to take a mental health break. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to ascribe it to him, even though I have brought it up, because that would be quite the U-turn. Yeah. And again, give him his time. And in the gotcha, same token, ben, go. In, in the same token, you could see how this would mentally wear you down. He has been of a punching bag oh for gracious. months <laughs> across the league. So let's just leave it where it is. Also, if you want, just again, this is the way that Shams wrote it. I don't know if this is the way that Ben Simmons would ascribe it. Mm -hmm. But if he did, it's kind of like, hey, you're at fault, too, with what you said, coach. And Joel, you're at fault, too, for whatever his issues are. And I'm at fault also. Like, we're all at fault here, even though the fingers of fault have been pointed in Ben Simmons's direction. Whatever needs to break the logjam, because he's not going to just be cut. And he's not just going to be just traded for nothing. They do hold all the contractual leverage and cards. They were hoping that he would just say, I get it. I'm going to get out there and I'm going to play and I'm going to take whatever slings and arrows come my way in terms of the boo birds. But if he doesn't want to do it because he's just finally like, I'm out. I'm never going to play from them again. And now it's dawning on him that he's going to have to and all of a sudden it's going to be tonight's the night and he really hasn't sat there and thought about what happens if I do walk in that building again and he's already checked out like I'm never going back there mm -hmm. and the cards were always pointing to yeah you're going to have to go back there unless they trade you and the way that you're conducting yourself to the outside world looks like you know the Sixers We'll give you away for a song, and Daryl Morey keeps saying no, and it's finally maybe dawning on him that the reality of everything, that he might have said, I'm never going back there again, and now he's got to actually suit up and play, he'd be like, "I'm not I, tonight can't be that night. Whenever that night can be, I hope he can get out there and start playing basketball because that's what he does, and that's what he's being paid handsomely for, and that is what the Sixers would like him to do so he can be placed where he wants to be. It seems like maybe he's turned a corner with his teammates, too. Tobias Harris did tweet out, we respect his privacy and space. Great. That's it. When Give he's it ready, him. we'll embrace our brother with love and handle our Here business on the court. That's it. Leave it where it is, then. Leave it where it is. And, you know, take his break and let him come back and and be healthier mentally, physically, and uh, and personally enriched for it. And hope the Sixers do get the value that they need because that means he goes where he wants to be and that makes him happier. And the Sixers better for it.
Do you imagine if they ever have a parade with Ben Simmons in Philadelphia, though, and that's the way that winds out? I don't see that one coming. Well, a parade would mean we won the title. That's what I'm saying. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. Hour two coming up. As I mentioned with the the Browns, it's tough to see point A being what's happening right now, banged up, Case Keenum in, not knowing when Baker Mayfield can come back. That's point A. Point B is hoisting the Lombardi just up the road here in SoFi. Tough to see that point A and point B having a – a line through it that is um, straight, <laughs> you know? And just the same way, just to see where things are right now with Ben Simmons, just to, that's point A right now. Tough to see point B having a, you know what, down Broad Street? I think that's a parade down Broad Street? Yeah. You know? I think that's the street. Tough to see that point B and that point A having a straight line right now or any line that's connected. But who knows? <laughs> of course, who knows? But the minute somebody says, I need a mental health break, you got to back off. You just basically got to give them that, give them that person space. We've done that to everybody here. And so let, may, may, he, may he sit down and talk it out with whoever he needs to talk it out with. I don't know the guy. Has he ever been on the show? I don't think we ever had him. Ben Simmons? Yeah. No. Did we have him when he was in yeah. LSU coming in? Nope. Because he only played a few games that year, remember? Yeah. He got hurt his uh Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, we've never talked to him. But the minute that, that somebody says that, uh, you know, at least in my opinion, you back off. Tobias Harris is tweeting out. Tweeting and, out and support. Yeah, and, and that's the way teammates do, and – and should do, even though teammates have apparently turned on each other in this regard here. And it, it's just been very difficult for him, I bet, no doubt. Maybe he should take his house off the market and stay and just just be. Take a break, man. Take a break. Because definitely, what is he, 25, 26? Yeah, I mean, it's young. just what a world to be just come crashing down. And I know he's, people like 20, might be 25. like, try working for a living. I get it. 25. He's 25. He's not ready for this. He probably had no idea what he was. He thought he could be hardened and get his way out. That, I really think there's a lot to that. Like, I know that. Hey, I've seen these other guys right. kind of force their and, way out. And, and now maybe it's dawning thing. on him that he can't. And like tonight's the night I got to suit up. No, that ain't happening. Yeah, that ain't happening. Right. That could be the what's going on right here. <laughs> 